Hello everyone. Don't usually like talking on my videos, but I thought I'd give this one a try. Uh, about me first, my name's David, 54 year old. Born on 2nd of August 1964, Sheffield, England. Married to a Chinese girl, 20 years younger than me. Right, what I've got to do, the landing legs, you may have seen what, what I do. These things, well, the company's won a contract over the next two years, and they've asked me if I can produce um, what is it, 24 a month. I have to do so. I'm going to try and resurrect this whole thing. What's happened with it is just to dedicate this machine, this gear is absolutely short, and all it's all it's doing is just spinning round. Because this is a, usually the feed rate what I use is between 27 and 68 revs per minute, so I've got nothing in that range at all, and it's the range that I need to use mostly. So I'm going to get the top off and see what happens from there. It looks simple enough. We've got two bolts here, one nut here, and there's two inside. Well, that was simple. Slip it straight up. It's over. Let's get it on the floor and have a look. Well, this is in a lot worse condition than I thought it were. That gear's totally gone. But this one's not that pretty either but obviously the keyway must have been totally knackered but also the gear and then drive what I did with this was I removed the clutch because the clutch clip kept slipping so I just made it a direct drive front motor and that's the one that takes the main drive up and that one's gone as well so I'll think about it what I'm going to do with it so I removed these shells under the locking screws grub screws that hold them in it's phosphor bronze on this side same on that side it could only come out this way right to left so let's get gears off Well, I've never seen a gear get in such bad condition. Let's look at them teeth. They should be like that. What I'm going to do, because this gear is such, it's hard metal, the bore and keyway is in perfect condition. It's got this extension on the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it down probably about an inch halfway through here make a sleeve for it that'll press on dowel it and weld it and then have it cut right what i used to do years ago was uh, turning tubes that have got a big hole in it is the biggest corner i had with this one in there that's just the right size to make a sleeve for this I don't need that anymore as uh, I made three of these to use on various sleeves so I'm gonna use that I'll set it up in the SG and start roughing it out right that's set obviously I'm only gonna put small cuts on to rough it down it's it's only held on it's held on point so I can't put big cuts on it so I'll not go through machining of that it's I'll just do it and carry on from where I finish. The metal's the N24, 
so it's per it's perfect for making this kind of thing Lee. no need to harden it after it's tough enough that's the sleeve rough down To know the diameter where it should have been, obviously I can't mark across that. I can't get a reference anywhere for them teeth. So what you have to do is, it's old English, so in inches. 42 teeth, so it's 42, add two, divide by six, which gives 7.333, which is 7.33 inch. So what I'm gonna do now is, is, t is turn this down but I'm not going to try turning them gears off they'll be so hard I'm going to uh, get it on grinder first and grind grind them off till it's pretty clean then then turn it well that was an unpleasant hour uh, so what I'm going to do now is turn that to fit inside there finish up on this part I've turned that with a two thousand two thousand seven inch taper on it small two thousand smaller at one end than other end I've left I've left twenty thousand in that to dress up I'm gonna do exactly the same as that what will happen it'll fit one way and it won't fit the other way obviously but it it's like a super mini most taper you'll get all that grip on there that the full distance of each one and doing them exactly the same will give them exactly the same uh, walls will match up perfectly need to show you what I mean this way it won't fit this way It will fit. That'll press into there nicely. That works out brilliant. It's uh, I had to finish it on on the vice. So I couldn't get enough pressure on lathe with tail stop. We were just pushing job down at Joe's. So pressed it in on, on this vise. Just a couple of spot welds to hold it in place. I'm going to drill and tap it now. Some pins just help it. I'm using WD-40 to drill it and I'll use it to tap. That's drilled and tapped. I'm going to fit this in. Cut the head off. Same on the other side, then over to welder and weld it. So I'll I'll come back to you when now all that lot's done. That's that one done, ready for cutting. I'll do the same with this gear. And then tackle this one. Let's look at this. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's running. So, off with pulley, draw this out, make the new gear for that. 
that's the shaft out so you can see with the key how much that's worn that's the gear it fitted onto what it needs to replace how much that's worn there's a brass the brass sleeve in there on the bear on this bearing that's all worn that fits onto here so I'll make an, a new shaft and a new gear get this sleeve out and remake a, a new sleeve to fit suit that bearing fits onto that shaft gears and shafts are done now so I'm going to put it all back together Before I put this side on, I'll just check that it'll spin. 